in many optical systems there are variants of a basic design and this happens in things like scanning lenses, uh, zoom lenses, it happens with temperature and, and so on. That's handled in ZMAX by using what we call multiple configurations and multiple configurations let you define variants of a base design. In this example we're looking at a zoom lens which operates at three fixed apertures and it has different separations between lens groups in each configuration and we can see here that some things like the optical performance vary other things do not like the manufacturing drawing of this lens this is handled through what we call the multiple configuration editor and to make something a multiple configuration uh, design you go to set up multiple configuration editor and you get this editor opening up here which I'm just going to dock against the standard lens data editor. What this is showing me is what is different between these configurations. I have three configurations of the design. The aperture of the lens is different between the configurations. The thickness of surface 8 and surface 15 is different. And you can see here, here's the thickness of surface 8 and here's the thickness of surface 14. They both have the values currently shown in the editor. You can see here this shows configuration 1 of 3. This shows configuration 1 with a little star next to it. And I can change configurations in a number of ways. I can just press this next configuration button. And that moves the configuration over to this one, where thickness of surface 8 is 4.48, and the thickness of surface 15 is 21.2, and the aperture of the lens is 6.2 millimeters. Or I can just double click within the multi configuration editor itself and shift to that configuration as well. And that changes this thickness here to 2 and this thickness here to uh, 43. Once I've made a design at multiple configuration, the, this multi configuration editor control appears on every part of the uh, user interface. So any tab that I'm in gives me access to this. Uh, but you would generally start off by setting up a system to be a multiple configuration design. And ZMAX has built-in tools uh, for cases where you need your design to work over a range of temperatures or when you need to look at subsystems within your optical system. Many analysis features will actually support um, multiple configurations directly. And so if I just take this layout feature and look at its settings, you'll see that I can choose all configurations or the currently defined configuration, or I can show any one configuration that I care to show, or any mixture of them. So here I'm just showing configuration three, here I'm showing configuration one, here I'm showing configurations one and three, and I have an offset in this case of 20 millimeters between them. I'm just going to change it to all, close that so that you can see uh, these windows. So ZMAX has all the tools in it to define multiple variants of an optical system. And if you're also working with CAD programs like SOLIDWORKS, um, Autodesk Inventor, or Creo Parametric, they also support their own equivalents of multiple configurations uh, as well. And you can interface not just parts from those programs into ZMAX, but also you can interface the configuration information from those programs into ZMAX as well. So your multi-configuration ZMAX design can be fully compatible with your multi-configuration SOLIDWORKS or Autodesk or Creo Parametric design.